Hi everybody, Litronics here and today we're gonna be playing Tyrande at the Cursed Hollow and let's have a quick look at our team compositions. So it's gonna be Tyrande, Jaina, Butcher, Gezlo and Nazibo against uh, Sylvanas, Karazim, Grameen, Vala and Stroll. So we have Butcher with us, so I'm, I'm considering going for the support build with the True Shot Aura just for the Butcher. Don't think that's necessary too much, also they... They have lots of squishy assassins, so oh, it's it's a tough choice. I guess I'm the only healer on my team, and they have um, Karazim, so I should uh, I should just go for the healing build for the full healing build. So let's start up with the empower. Uh, basically, what it will what it will allow us is uh, to use our healing far far more often than we could have otherwise. And look at that synergy with the Butcher though, that's so good, it's way too good, it's way too good, right? Like we can just roam with Butcher and get some good ganks here and there simply because he he has a guaranteed stun and I can follow up with my stun and my Hunter's Mark and somebody somebody's going to die after that, no matter what, just, oh we should have, we should have actually gone for them. <laughs> I guess that's enough, but he should have actually gone for the Grey main because Karazim had far more chances of escaping than um, uh, than Grey main. Simply because Karazim can just dash, dash around like a madman, while Grey main was in his human form, and all all he could have done is uh, morph into Worgen and maybe try to dash out. But I don't think that would have been so much. Oh yeah, okay. That was a, that was a decent, decent dash there. I'll put some vulnerability onto Stroll. Not not enough damage though to kill him. Let's heal up Jaina a little bit. Tabs of Fountain and go back into battle. So as Tyrande, you really really want to be landing your stuns. Like it's the pinnacle of your effectiveness. If you can't land your stuns, you're basically useless. Well, kind of ish. Yeah, let's let's let's. Let's roll this room. Oh, can can we kill Thrall here? Please use your, please use your charge. And there we go. Once again, a very solid, very solid kill on Thrall there. Like it's so fun to roam with Butcher. I didn't even hope that it would be so much fun, but hey, but hey. Uh, for this tier, let's actually go for the peers. Uh, I kind of uh, thought about going for the healing ward just to max maximize the healing we can put uh, put out, but let's go for the peers just to get the resets for our light of a loon, also resets for our stuns and all of the good things like that. Uh, also what's interesting is that sentinel, uh, the empower talent which resets your cooldown by 2 seconds, it actually, it actually works on your ultimates, so that's definitely something to consider when picking it. Definitely a useful feat to have. Yeah, just go for it. Just go go for it. Uh, gas low. Okay, seems like uncontested, completely uncontested. Let's help out gas low with a little bit of healing. Uh, you can just charge Grayman there, probably. Um, yeah, but because he he has no escape. Oh damn it. I mean, we killed Karazim there, but I, I kind of messed up my stun. I should have casted it way, way earlier. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are, Butcher. There we go. Some vulnerability. Not quite enough. Butcher wasn't in the position to kill Greymane there, so... Didn't happen. Gaslow, please help Butcher there. We can't have him dying. He's basically carrying this game on his shoulders, uh, me helping him just here and there, but but as we saw clearly, if Greymane, Greymane just uh, collapsed on me and was able to easily kill me, simply, simply because as Tyrande you don't have as much self-healing as you can heal your uh, teammates, so it's definitely a downfall right there. Also somehow we are losing experience really badly, be uh, probably because uh, we lost so many people uh, everywhere basically. Uh, so we just dueled that Thrall right there. Uh, if Butcher wants to charge somebody, I'm I'm right here with you. Uh, Lunar Blaze uh, for this tier. Uh, just uh, 
just for that increased range. Uh, can we can we heal him? Yes, yes we can. Yes, we can indeed heal him. I mean, if you guys just want to, um, if you guys just, I, I really thought that they would collapse. Butcher should be should kill this Grayman without much problems. Oh, he was setting up for the leap onto Jaina there, so and she was out of vision, so she luckily survived. But that was some some good good job by my teammates, by the way. This game, I'm I'm kind of proud of them. Like they are doing a really good job securing the kills. Aside from losing out uh, on lots and lots of experience, it's actually pretty great. Uh, can Jaina actually get in range uh, to land the slow? I believe she landed her Q, uh, but that wasn't that wasn't quite enough. I mean, if you want to just charge in and die to Jaina's slows, sure, I guess. Somehow she didn't probably she probably didn't have her combos or something because they should have been they should have been dead right there. Uh, Shadow stalk obviously just the best, a very good ultimate. Also, it's extremely strong. The fact that it's global is makes it extremely extremely strong because like there's no avoiding it. You can just help your teammates from 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 back at your base and there is nothing enemies can actually do about it so that's that's great uh, it's not it's not worth um, it's not worth putting out two people to deal with I should have used my ultimate by the way that was really my bad actually that was entirely my fault I was too busy talking about <laughs> I was too busy talking about uh, how is it called Kerosene that I completely forgot about the fact that uh, Jaina might be fighting down next to the curse there. And uh, what happened there is that she died, obviously, because what else should have happened? Oh, I will try to save you, friend. In four seconds, in two seconds, I can heal you once more. Did we get a kill? Oh no, Vala with the follow-up. I was I was already clicking my heels there, but Vala, I didn't I totally didn't expect Vala to come from the bottom lane and just gank us completely. Also they have Sylvanas who I haven't seen this whole game. She's probably split pushing all this time. Yeah, she's the reason they have so much experience, by the way. Well Nazibo is dying to Vala's ultimate, but can Jaina, yes, a beautiful, a perfect combo by Jaina W E Q just that perfect burst of damage we needed. Yeah, everything is kind of falling apart simply simply because I forgot I forgot to use my ultimate there to save Jaina uh, a second a second before, so that kind of happened. And uh, now let's use my ultimate to heal. Maybe Gaslo. Maybe maybe we can survive this even. Uh, I don't think so, but there we go. Can we stop Sylvanas? No, we cannot. Uh, but we were able to save Gaslow and kill Kerosene in the process, so we got, I guess, something, something for our troubles. But hey, but hey. So what's going on middle lane? I I can use it in twenty seconds. Just pinging it to my teammates, just making sure that they know not to be extremely aggressive. Except that they don't really care, I guess. Oh, that was a bad, a bad move. A bad move by Butcher there. Yeah, I'm silenced now. I, I can't help you when I'm silenced, I'm sorry. I would love to help you, but I just, I just can't. Uh, let's go with the overflowing... How did Vala die? That's so weird. Let's go with the overflowing light. Uh, just to make sure that we heal our teammates as much as much as possible. Uh, there we go, picked it. And at level 16, I will probably actually go for the, maybe for the ranger. I don't know, ranger or true shot aura. Both are kind of decent, ish. Kind of decent ish. Uh, I should actually scout here, so I will do just that, uh, just to make sure that there is nobody inside that bush. Just waiting to kill somebody so let's see let's see if uh, 
Karazim, oh, Karazim went for the 7-sided strike, so they don't have that uh, healing ultimate that they can use to completely obliterate. Um, that was a very bad ultimate by Gazlo there. It's pretty, pretty, it was actually pretty, pretty horrible. Oh, good job by Butcher and Tyrande landing all of those, all of those good, good skill shots. Uh, let's heal up Butcher there, make sure that we DPS Gazlo as, um, Greymane as much as possible. Can we get a kill on, uh, on Vala there? And didn't land my stun, but Gazlo with the follow-up, um, laser. Good snipe, good snipe. <laughs> bad job, uh, bad job on my part, by the way, completely missing that Lunar Flare right there, but... But Gessel with the follow-up, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. Let's scout for their team. Just making sure that nothing too bad is happening. I can use it in 18 seconds. So you should be very, very careful, Nazebo. Please don't die. There we go. Uh, Gessel saved Nazebo, I would say. Otherwise, uh, Kerosene would have just uh, continued walking into them. I can use it in 3 seconds. And uh, there we go, just use it, just for the sake of it. I should have used it actually after Stroll uh, used his Sundering, but I didn't actually know that he would use Sundering, so that's my that's my defense. But if I knew that he would go for that... Let's go Ranger, let's go Ranger and just... Oh, that, that movement speed is actually way, way, way too much. Way too much. I could have healed you, Butcher, but okay. But okay. There we go, topping off Gaslo. Uh, Butcher wants to go for the boss, and that's probably a good idea. Uh, also, what Ranger uh, allows to do on this map is you can not only uh, scout for the bosses, you can actually deal lots and lots of damage to the enemy team, uh, simply because the way uh, the way the ability works. Uh, uh, what this talent does for you is uh, it increases the damage of Sentinel uh, based on how much distance it traveled. So at higher levels, it can deal like uh, how much it's gonna be uh, 900 damage at this moment. Uh, if we can land, a... and there we go, landed the stun. Uh, Use my ultimate just before, just before uh, how's he, how she called, uh, just before Sylvanas was able to land her. Silencing arrow, but it doesn't matter how a team just got wiped completely by Vala. Yeah, that was good job by the enemy team following up with those perfect, perfect silences and ultimates. So I believe I I didn't actually see the whole team fight. I just saw my uh, side of it. But I believe what happened there is uh, Sylvana silenced everybody. Uh, then Butcher wasn't able to put his brand on whoever he was attacking, so he wasn't able to heal himself. Uh, Gina wasn't able to cast anything, and then Vala just went in with the strafe. And uh, then Greyman just started finishing off people. So that didn't work that great, but hey. Now let's send out our Sentinel, just scout. Uh, maybe, maybe they are doing boss, maybe they aren't. They d are definitely not doing the boss, which is quite interesting uh, but let's soak some experience we are one level behind right now we really need some XP to catch up uh, not that we are behind this game we are kind of even but uh, we are just kind of even we are not like actually even so there we go look at how much damage we were able to deal to stroll just completely like without any downside whatsoever oh it's actually a very good tribute spawn because uh, all of our peoples are uh, right right where we need them and uh, all of the enemies are kind of not so let's uh, let's try to heal them uh, wasn't really able to heal uh, whoever I needed to heal but there we go oh my god kerosene with that strike with that strike oh, I was able to snipe Greymane but not much happened aside from that I'm so dead now like, there's no actual way of me escaping Kerosin here. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at this stupidity. 
Oh wow, he actually went out of range, so I can now escape him easily. Wow, this is ridiculous. That was so stupid, he should have killed me there, but I was just out of his range. So it didn't happen. He dodged my stun and uh, by proxy he uh, allowed me to escape. Why did you dodge it? Come on. Come on, Sylvanas, why did you dodge my stun? You didn't know it was coming, did you? Let's just send out my sentinel. Missed everybody, by the way, which is quite funny. Wow, so some of these teamfights go really, really badly, and partly it's because of the fact that we kind of try to, fo like, we don't actually focus anybody. Like, we have such, a, such, a, so, such good ultimates and combos. Like, Gerizim can land his uh, gravity bomb and then Jaina follow up with the blizzard, but it doesn't seem to happen. Uh, we dealt so much damage to them, but it was just just way too late, and they have Kerosim to just sustain them constantly, so not much happened there. But we need this uh, we need this, this vision shrine. I will scout once again, uh, just to make sure they aren't coming with the boss. And uh, what's cool about Tirande is that the, you have your hunter's mark, your trade, and what it allows you to do is to uh, put this mark onto onto bosses, onto any kind of like garden terrors, dragon knights, and it, it allows your team uh, to very, very quickly kill them. Like, incredibly so, look at this. All all this Grave Golem was able to do is to get uh, the fountain, and that's it. That's, that's, that's pretty great. Nazebo, you should be very, very careful right there. I, I mean, I can poke them here and there, but I can't actually like deal substantial damage to them, uh, at least until level 20. And even at level 20, I'm really considering maybe going for the Storm Shield uh, to provide my teammates with sustain, but let's just, let's just go with the build and go for the full Sentinel build and go with the Rewind. It might help out later on, like if... Um, if we w will be trying to steal their boss or to steal like um, if they will be doing boss and we will try to stop them it will actually be very very helpful for me to have rewind simply because I can do so much so much damage using it uh, so the biggest mistake you can do against Kerasim is to actually uh, Isolate yourself. Can we get a heal on Nazebo? Yes, we could have. We could. We got, got a heal on Nazebo. Can we stop Sylvanas from running away? And that that we couldn't have achieved. Wow, that silence was too much, and Gazlo wasn't really. Damn it! I really thought that Jaina would blow them up, but silence. Silence was too much. I I don't understand why Sylvanas still had her silence. By the way, uh, because we just came out of a team fight and. Obviously her silence should have been should have been on cooldown, but Maybe that's the reason uh, we kind of won the team fight is because She actually didn't use her heroics or whatever. Also, why aren't spiders? Oh, there there we go. There are the spiders I saw that why spiders aren't following Walla there because they should be they should be destroying her uh, I will be there only in 20 seconds, so you should be extremely careful with their guys though Oh wow, good job by Gazo landing that slow. Wow, these turrets are ridiculous. Like if he actually Oh my god, that was huge. Wow, good job Gazlo. Man, that was that was incredible. I can heal, I can heal. Please help him, please help him Gazlo. I tried to launch as many sentinels as possible. Damn it! It missed. It missed. The, can I? Can I get there in time? No! 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 Run to me! Mm, damn it! Why didn't you run to me? You should have just ran to me, man. Oh my God! We could have saved Nazebo there if he didn't. If he didn't. If he didn't run away. But yeah, we can just go for the boss now with the butcher, with the vulnerability, 
with everything. I will heal you, Jaina. Don't worry. Just thank him for me. Uh, also, you don't... <coughs> Good job, Witcher. You, you don't really want to be tanking any of the objectives, simply because, as I said, as Tyrande, you don't really have that uh, self-healing that you can provide for yourself. So, it's, it's all about your teammates. Uh, I used my rewinds there, didn't actually hit Karazim, sadly. I should have just aimed for the center of his ultimate, instead of trying to set it up properly, so to say. But what's very, very interesting is that they, if they don't try to dodge uh, the root from the Grave Golem, I will be able to kill them without much problems. Like, let's see, let's see if we can snipe them. Let's see if we can snipe somebody. Because this is going to be fun. I just sent out my owl. And connected just with one person, just with one person. Uh, it's kind of a bit, it's a bit risky, but I think we can do it. Uh, three, two, I will just use it and use it once again. And I missed both of them. So that didn't work in our favor, so to say, but hey. Uh, we stunned, wow, we stunned Kerosim there. Lots of, lots of lead damage going out onto Kerosim, but Butcher isolated himself for the Kerasim's ultimate and he was able to just completely destroy completely destroy poor Butcher. Damn it, that's that's kind of that's actually pretty bad. I can I can heal your heal you guys up just here and there ever so slightly. There we go, got a kill. Can we get a kill on the grey main? Can we get, get a hit? No, don't run away, please. Why you run away, guys? Don't... <clears throat> Come on, guys. Stop running away from me. I can heal you. I have so much healing in me. Just believe in me. Just believe in my powers. Because look at this. Look at this. We are healing like 62,000 healing in a 20-minute game. That's that's a good stat. That's decent stats. And even if, um, if we went for a healing ward or maybe as a protective shield, it would have been even so much better. But this boss, this boss camp that we actually sacrificed so many people for, actually got us a keep. So that's, that, that was so worth it, it's not even funny. Also, we simply by this curse, uh, we got some good damage to the keep and almost killed their turret. Can we kill this turret actually? Oh no, like two more shots from those archers and it would have been down. Uh, Nazibo is doing some very, very risky plays here. Uh, if anybody sees him, also, there is some like a weird bug in Heroes of the Storm that you can actually, you can actually see people's skill shots even in uh, grayed out areas, which you shouldn't have, because it doesn't make sense to see them. But look at how much damage we were able to deal to Sylvanas with our fully charged rain uh, Sentinel there. That's the damage I'm talking about. That's the damage you want to be dealing. As Tyrande, just poking them just from afar, doing as much damage as possible. Uh, but it's all about landing those sentinels with this build. If you actually don't land them, it's not really helpful that much. But uh, they are probably doing this camp, so I will just send it out right. Th oh my god, it's, it's a bit too late. It's a little bit too late. Yeah, I really tried to do some damage to them there, but uh, let's heal up Jaina. I just make sure she isn't dying. Yeah, we lost Nazibo there when he tried tried to do some things he shouldn't have done, so that wasn't really great. What happened there? Why did he... what? I mean, sure, let's heal up Jaina again. Just making sure that my teammates are high and uh, ready... I are high on health and ready to fight. We don't really need this camp, but it, it will just help help with the push. Uh, you should be extremely careful there, Jaina. It's not it's not worth it. It's not really worth it. Let's uh, let's scout ahead. Just make sure that nothing bad happens. Ooh. Okay, so at the moment this is anybody's game. So uh, because the gray game uh, dragged out for so long. Uh, whoever gets a full team wipe uh, and uh, has most of their people alive 
uh, probably will win the game by just by pushing the core. So we should be extremely careful about that. Boss is spawning in one minute and our boss is spawning in 10 seconds. So that's obviously a point of interest at the moment. So there we go, scouted some of the enemies. Uh, Butcher shouldn't have gone in. Shouldn't have gone in. Oh, but look at the team fight! Look, oh my god, look at how beautiful that was! We were able to land our stun into Gazlo's ultimate and under all of the all of the buffs and everything, it dealt so much damage. Uh, and all we need to do now is... Oh, I, I kind of assumed that Jaina would just follow up. But all we need to do actually right now is just push push to win. That's it. That's all we need to do. That's literally all, all there is to it. But yeah, that setup by the butcher was extremely, extremely strong. It shouldn't have, it should have, it shouldn't have ended up as good as it ended up to be. And let's use our ultimate just to heal my teammates up, just to get ourselves some health so that we can land those a lot uh, empowered. Uh, and there we go, full team wipe, uh, empowered uh, Lights of Alun. So there we go, a really solid game as the Tyrande with the Ranger build. Wow, that ending was so, so beautiful. Wow. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.